Don't give us that paparazzi, baby You know they're always trying to get me A million dollars at the night scene Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and we're finally back. I'm so sorry I left you guys last week. If you didn't know, if you weren't on my Instagram or don't follow me there, I was sick. My voice is still a little raspy, so just bear with me guys. And I also did have a sty, so I really wanted to film this cover girl video for you guys last week, but it didn't happen, so we're doing it this week. We're going to be testing out the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundations. These are 24-hour wear foundations. We are also going to be testing out the CoverGirl Extreme Wear Concealers, which also have 24-hour full coverage, as well as one shade from the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Pressed Powder. So I'm super excited for all these products. So if you guys want to see a little wear test, a demo of each one, and how the shades look on my skin tone, then just make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. Connect with me on Instagram and all my other socials, which will all be linked down below. There will also be timestamps down there. And if you do want to see more beauty videos, then just make sure you like this video. Don't forget to share it with friends and leave a comment. Let me know if you love CoverGirl as much as I do and what products have you tried from them. I'm absolutely obsessed with their Perfect Point Plus eyeliner, but let's go ahead and talk about these products. As always, let's start with disclaimers. This video is sponsored and products were gifted by Beauty Tap and CoverGirl in exchange for 100% complete honest reviews. Now this video is not being paid. I do not get paid for trying these products or doing the video. So as always, it's always 100% honest over here on the channel, no matter if a product is sponsored or not. You guys can check out my in-depth beauty professional reviews over on beautytap.com for these products and much more. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, we're going to talk a little bit more about what each of these products claims to do as well as the shades I received. If you don't already know CoverGirl, they are a huge, huge, huge cruelty-free makeup brand. They actually reinvented their whole line of their extreme wear products. So I'm a little confused on how this is working because I know there was a little mix-up with CoverGirl on sending out products. And I was supposed to receive three shades of foundations. I only received two, which I'm completely fine with. But my little confusion here is one of the shades does say new, which is most likely their newer range and added shades, but they do have two different names. So the 840 Natural Beige Foundation, the name is Extreme Wear Light Airbrush Finish, while the new 842 shade Medium Beige is Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. They both are supposed to be full coverage, lightweight, 24-hour wear as well as non-caking, non-drying, sweat-proof, humidity-proof, and breathable. So this is a 3-in-1 foundation. It is a primer, concealer, and foundation all-in-one, but you can use a primer underneath this if you wanted to, and you can use it with concealer and powder as well if you wanted to. So these also have a SPF of 18. As always, you should wear your moisturizer and sunscreen underneath. Foundations are never meant to protect fully, but they do add a little bit more of that sun protection. I am currently wearing SPF 25. So with this added on, it makes a great little thing for the day. The next two products we have are the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in 845 Warm Beige and 855 Soft Honey. These are 24 hour wear as well. Be lightweight, easily blendable. It's supposed to give a flawless finish, transfer proof and waterproof. So I have seen some videos on these and they look pretty dang full coverage, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. The last product we got was the new CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Pressed Powder. This is up to 16 hour coverage, so you could wear this alone or with the foundation. I received the shade 840 Natural Beige. I don't really know my complete skin tone. 
I was tested at Sephora years ago, so my skin definitely has changed from them. Now I think I'm more of like a green kind of yellow undertone, so it's very weird. So we're going to see how these work. The 840 looks a little red, but the new 842, the medium beige, looks more natural. So we're going to go ahead and try them out. You can find the foundations between $10 and $14 at Target and Walmart. You could get it for $10.49, but more in drugstore areas you're gonna find it for that 13 price range i don't remember if i mentioned they're waterproof but they are waterproof and there's 21 shades available the concealers retail for around ten dollars at target and walmart drugstore price around 13 dollars and there's 20 shades available the cover girl extreme wear pressed powder is ten dollars at target and walmart and you can find it for 13 again at drugstores. There's eight shades available, and this is also supposed to be a true to complexion powder. So it's supposed to really match your tone better than anything else. Now let's get into trying this foundation out. So again, we do have SPF and moisturizer on. I am not gonna prep with a primer because I wanna test this out as it's supposed to be so this is like three in one it already has a primer in it i will be using the concealers to see if they do help brighten the under eyes in any areas needed and i will be using the powder because i am combination to oily skin so we're going to start with our foundations as you guys know i am acne prone so i do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and scarring and i have a lot of uh, cystic hormonal acne and many many pesky little blackheads so we're gonna see how this goes so i just want to show you guys it is a pump top i love pump tops i can't stand foundation that you have to pour out because you end up pouring out way too much this, oh i like this that's so cool so in order to actually open your foundation you have to twist it which i think is really cool i've never seen that in a foundation and that's really helpful in case you ever decide to put your foundation in your bag or take it with you on the go, you know it's not going to spill. So that's really cool. Um, so you, you want to twist it first. I didn't know that. And then you want to go ahead and start pumping it out. Ooh. Okay. This is more like a peachy pink undertone. So it might be a little light for me. But we're going to give it a second and see if it oxidizes any more than that looks a little bit closer to what I would be. So let's go ahead and put it on our neck and try it out. We're going to leave it there for maybe 10 minutes because I like said, I do want to see if it oxidizes and changes color and we'll be right back. See, we know that's going to be way too late. These might be very light for me, but we are basing this video more on how well the foundation works. So just bear that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and wait 10 minutes, see if this oxidizes anyway, and come back and show you guys. So actually, guys, I wanted to pop on and I just wanted to test this out on my face real quick before we put the foundation on while we're waiting for this to oxidize, if it does because you can use this alone on the face. So I just wanna see how full coverage it is so you guys can get an idea of that. So this is the close up of the powder. Um, again, we are gonna be trying it out on after our application. And it does come with the little sponge and a travel compact mirror. So that's one swipe on the pad. I'm gonna do one more. And let's see how this goes on. I'm going to flip it over. Y'all ready? Okay. It's pretty decent. I like the powder. I'm going to try to add a little bit more to see how like full coverage this can get on bare skin. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. And we're going to see. Because this is buildable. So. One thing I do like about it is the more you add on, the more it actually goes to your complexion. Because I feel like this is actually 
closely hitting my color. Oh, wow. That really is some full coverage stuff. As we all know, foundation isn't perfect. We all have our flaws. So I'm letting you know. This is how it's looking. I really actually like the powder. It goes really natural with my skin. And it gives me a nice matte finish. So, wow. I'm like, I'm stunned, guys. I've okay. never tried a foundation powder that I actually liked. So I think I might like this one. I'm going to go ahead and take this off now. And then we're just going to come back and check to see if this oxidized. Okay, guys. So we are back. It looks like it did oxidize just a little bit. This one does look a lot more pinker, peachier than this one does. This one did seem to get a little darker. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one which is the new shade 842. So the trick to a good application is always a good brush and of course, how you moisturize. I used the Panthenol 10% Moisturizer by SNP Labs and I did use the Higher Education SPF 30 Sunscreen. I will have all the links mentioned down below, so just check that out. And this is a flat top foundation brush. So I'm going to be using this one. I really like this one. I got this off Amazon. I don't remember by who or when, but it's a good brush, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on the back of my hand first. As you guys can see, it's more of a liquidy foundation, which doesn't really bother me too much. It's not liquidy like some other foundations I've tried and I could not stand them like it just got all over the place. This one's a good consistency for me. So we're going to go ahead and do a swipe test. Oh, yeah, that is definitely not my shade. But again, ignore the shade part. We're basing it off how well it works. I wish it was my shade because I want to use this more. But we're going to see how it does after I add some contour and highlight and other stuff. So that is the one swipe test. That's some um, pretty full coverage stuff right there. Let's see if we can buff this out and how it goes. So I'm noticing you can build this foundation up. I already put one layer on and I was able to add another layer without it caking yet. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and I'm going to let you know my first thoughts. All right, guys. So now I'm pretty much just waiting for the foundation to set. Some things I can say already, this foundation is extremely buildable. You can put one layer on, add another layer up to your desired coverage. So with that being said, it covered everything. I feel like compared to other full coverage foundations I've tried, I'm liking this one really so far. It gives a nice glow on the skin. It really is easily blendable, easily buildable. Um, up close, you're going to see them, but I feel like that's really with any foundation. But <laughs> we did get a lot pretty much all of it all of the hyperpigmentation the acne scarring the acne redness all of that has just disappeared so off buildability i'm gonna give it a five star so far um it does feel slightly sticky on the eyes it could be because it's still drying down so i'm just gonna keep patting patting until it's all the way dried down I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back with you guys to show you how it looks fully. And then we're just going to go ahead and start on our concealer. All right, guys. So this is how we're looking. I did my brows real quick because I am also going to be using some cream contour products. The foundation does feel really lightweight. It's giving my skin a really natural glow. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it looks gorgeous. It does still feel a little tacky so now we're going into concealers i'm going to take 845 warm beige and 855 soft honey and more about the foundation just so you guys can see that it does oxidize so you can see where we have the fresh foundation compared to where we had the first bit of foundation concealers 
The first one is Soft Honey, and I'm just going to show you on my hand to see what the shade looks like. It has a little squeeze dispenser, which I really like because it makes it really easy to apply. So this is the Soft Honey. This will be a really nice color to neutralize or to add like near my contour to help it blend out a little bit better. This is the Warm Beige. Then you guys go that's the warm honey right here and that is the beige i'm gonna just take a little bit on the back of my hand and i'm gonna blend it out with this deep paula amazon brush this is a contour and highlight brush okay yeah i think this would be a nice shade I'm going to put some up here. Basically any areas that you want to highlight, you want to conceal a little bit more. I like that these are really affordable, so that's also why I said it's okay. I don't mind going to the store and buying a $13 foundation that actually covers fully like this. Okay. So it's, it's feeling nice. It's looking good. It is currently 9 a.m., uh, I think I had the foundation on around 8.30, so let's say 8.30, and from there, we're probably going to wear it for, I want to say 4 p.m., but I will give you the update as we go along the video. It did brighten up my under eyes and my chin area where I do have hyperpigmentation, so it did make everything look a lot better. I do feel like I might need to set this, but I'm going to give it a second and make sure. And I'm just going to take that same shade, the warm beige, and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. And then we're going to add the warm honey along our jawline to give a little bit more dimension. This does have a somewhat, not fast, but not extra slow dry time. So you do want to work a little fast when blending it out. But it blends really easy, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the honey shade. Just a little bit right here. I'm gonna be using the RK by Kiss 3D Contour Cream Palette. I've been loving this palette. I love cream contour. I know some of you guys may not be cream contour fans, but I am even as the acne prone oily skin person. It all depends on how you use it and how you work with it and just what works for you. So we're going to go ahead and just contour and blush and highlight. If you see a contour video, then just let me know. When I finish blending and then we're gonna come right back with the powder and honestly I think these products with cream products are absolutely amazing they actually made my skin look a whole lot better they blended seamlessly really easy and all together as you guys can see it looks more like a flawless finish I'm gonna go ahead and use the pressed powder on certain areas of my face so let's get into it it's looking nice I'm just going to use this to set my whole face. All right, guys. So this is how it's looking with the powder. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera. Wait. Sorry, guys. I ran out of room on my phone. Um, I just uploaded it so as i was saying we're gonna go ahead and wait the day out and see how my experience went with these all right guys so this is the final look it's actually later in the day so excuse it being a little dark um it is now almost four o'clock i believe it's 3 45 somewhere around that time my kids did wake up earlier so i couldn't show you the makeup look right away but this is the makeup look any products used for this look 
and you can also check out the links down in the description box below some of them are affiliate links so if you're interested if you make a purchase using these links or codes you can get a discount off your purchase at those sites with no additional cost to you i also earn a small percentage to help support my channels on instagram youtube and many more for you guys thank you for all your support and now let's just get into my final thoughts and reviews and honestly first thing i gotta say this one amazing there was a few minor downfalls nothing too major for me honestly i think it was really only one thing now that i think about it but overall i really loved all these covergirl products I wasn't even expecting to be disappointed because I own some CoverGirl products and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. So I'm glad I got the chance to try these out. For the foundations, of course, one was a little bit too light, which is actually in their old range. I absolutely love this stuff. As for coverage, it completely covers. You guys can see it. I didn't add any concealer down beforehand and it just, everything just disappeared. I didn't need primer. So it really is that three in one that you get. It left a nice kind of tacky layer. For me, that's really nice because I like to apply creams and powders. So that also all helps it pack down nice and smooth. And creams work very, very well with these foundations. They don't feel heavy at all on my skin. Around the eyes, it does a little bit because again it is kind of tacky but that is also something that I really like because it helps the eyeshadow stick down it really helped my eyeshadow stand out if you guys can see it looks really pigmented the palettes I have are already pigmented but it came out a lot brighter the color went down so smooth next we're gonna talk about the concealers the concealers get a complete five stars for me, I like how they dry down. I heard for some people that they don't like how fast it dries down, but I work pretty quickly with concealers and I don't tend to use a lot of concealer, especially if the foundation is good. Honestly, I would recommend them to anyone who wants long lasting concealer. From what I've seen, these don't crease, these don't move. I also am obsessed with the applicator. It's really easy to use. It's really precise. This could go right in your bag because it's so small and compact and travel friendly. So just look at that. Like the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Pressed Powder. Four stars. I don't completely love this, but I don't hate it. Um, I'd have to say that throughout the day, I did have to touch up the spots uh, where it was a little bit oily. Um, my pores were showing a little bit more. A little quick touch up halfway through the day for me was good. We've had this on for about seven hours, all the products. I think if I would have used this alone, then maybe it would have lasted the 16 hours. But we'll try it another day and we'll find out. And everything just looks smooth and flawless so I'm really happy in these products so with that being said that is the end of this video I hope you guys all enjoyed it I hope you loved it let me know what covergirl products you love and you have tried and is a staple in your routine if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up show your support share it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this we will be back as always with another video y'all stay beautifully awesome bye